The terrazine on Belshir has enhanced the planet's native viruses. A deadly plague spreads among all life forms, and your every beleaguered action comes at a cost. Suffer through it and emerge victorious. Okay! So today we're gonna be playing this week's mutation mission which is called Sick Micro of course on the brutal difficulty and apparently we're gonna be playing on the missed opportunities map and this first icon I don't actually know the second one however I have seen before and this one yeah that's microtransactions giving commands to your units costs resources based on the unit's cost and this is one of those one of those mutators that is very tricky to play around because I play this game a lot and not microing is actually pretty tricky because every single move you make based Basically cost you some resources, but this one, what's this? Black Death. Some enemy units carry a plague that deals damage over time and spreads to other nearby units. The plague spreads to your unit when the enemy unit is killed. Okay, okay, so wait, it's called Sick Micro because there is a, a sick unit, there's an ill unit, because when you kill it, it spreads the plague to all nearby units. So either you don't kill it at all, which is probably gonna happen in the first place. Or I'm trying to think here, like obviously if you need to micro against a unit that is gonna die very, very quickly. Um, if you're gonna micro against it, it is gonna cost you a lot of resources from the micro transaction. So we may actually be better off running an army that's very, very disposable. Alright, so here's what we got. We got both Stukov as well as Zagara. And Stukov's army obviously will time out anyway, so the Black Death should not be much of an issue. And Zagara should also be able to replace her army rather quickly. And of course, all of the moves that we make are based on the unit's cost. So, I wouldn't be surprised if Zagara's units, you know, they're not particularly expensive. I wouldn't be surprised if playing her is going to be pretty good as well. But I am a little worried of what will happen if, like, the plague will spread to Zagara herself, because she's, like, the main source of damage when you play this commander. Anyway, we'll go ahead and give it a try. As far as my mastery points go, I got the Zagara Life and Energy Regeneration, the Bailing Attack Damage Percent, and then also a little bit of Zagara Cocoon Birth Time Reduction, as well as the additional Larva Spawn Rate, because I wouldn't be surprised if we're gonna need a lot of Larva today. We're gonna lose a lot of armies, so we're gonna need a lot of Larva. Welcome to the jungle, Commanders! Hope you like fun and games. Long-term exposure to Terrazine provides plenty of both. <laughs> Trust me. Someone out there is making a game of destroying my bots, though. They're ruining my research. I need you to guard those bots. Quantity it's funny because even, like, making a single set of drones here costs resources. Like, you can see a single mineral being spent every time I do something. So, I need to try my very best here and not spam any of my abilities. Which is so odd to me because I play, obviously, you know, a lot of one versus one. And being fast and really precise about your actions, generally speaking, means, like, spamming abilities as well. So you can, you know, get a, uh, a proper positioning. But regardless, we'll have to try and not spam all too much today and uh, go from there. I am going to go ahead and set up some gases here. Here. I'm gonna play really careful. I'll go ahead and hotkey Zagara. Selling a rally point apparently costs resources as well. Not surprised. And I should probably not be like microing my overlords either. It's not worth it. It's too expensive to do so. Alright, we'll get started right here with a couple of Zerklings as soon as I can. Careful now, boys. Trying to micro as carefully as I can. And I'm making a few sets of Zerklings. And I'll try and produce myself another queen here as well, so we can really get some reasonable uh, income as far as that, uh, you know, larva gain rate and whatnot goes. Of course, still making drones as well, in case you are wondering. Zagara's drones come out in twos, which make it significantly easier. And I'll try and knock down his rocks here very shortly, as soon as I can. I'll queue up that command. That's a little bit pricey. You can see that all cost me resources for each individual Zerkling, by the way. I wonder if I'm really gonna get the income that I think I was gonna be getting. Because a lot of these moves cost a ton. What I am gonna need, as soon as I can... Oh. It's a Bailing Nest. A Bailing Nest. Here we go. The Bailing Nest will make things significantly easier, because they do include free units. And of course, I want to try and get all of these upgrades here as soon as I can as well. Mineral quantity. I really want to make a, a ton of drones, though. If I manage to make a ton of drones, that makes things way easier. Looks like a geyser is about to become active. One of my bots will depart for it shortly. Okay. It seems my structure requires more infestation. I'll try and move over as well, but we really do want to be careful. 
And I'll go ahead here and make sure to get my lair as soon as possible too, so I can get some upgrades, but... Oh, is that the plague? Is this the plague? I don't know if those... Yeah, no, those units are most definitely affected by a little bit of something. You can see them having some... Uh, Alright, yeah, we're gonna go ahead and make a big round of units here. And we'll rally them all over there, but I am a little worried that I'm making too many expensive moves here. You can put your rally point right over there, too. I don't know if they all... Oh, maybe actually Zagara is a really bad choice, because all of these things... All of these things are affected by plague. I don't know if they will slowly die, or if it will, like, run out after a little while. They are still taking damage, although they also regenerate at the same time. Actually, I wouldn't be surprised if they're all taking quite a lot of damage here. That's not good. Alright. Zagara, you gotta get over there. I hope Zagara won't slowly but surely die, but actually all of my army is now gone. Maybe Zagara is a really bad choice. After thinking it over for a little while, I'm starting to think here that Zagara may be a really bad choice. Because all our units die super quickly. Now Zagara is affected by it too. Is Zagara gonna die here? Will Zagara die? The bot is heading back. Look look at her. It's scared. So you should keep it. Oh no. <laughs> she was affected by the plague as well. You know what? I I don't know if he can actually do it with these commanders. I'm a little worried here, because I put a lot of effort, like a lot of damage from this, comes out of Zagara herself. The T stands for Terrazine. Um, I'm trying to think here what kind of units I should make. I can just go full Zirkling. Full Zirkling Baneling it is. Full Zirkling Baneling it is. I mean, that would be doable, right? I think? I mean, normally you can make a ton of Zirklings and Banelings here. I just wonder how it's gonna be when they got a bunch of anti-air down, because I think all of my units are gonna die really easily. We'll just try and get as many of these upgrades as possible, and I'll tuck up straight towards the Hive now as well. I got way too many drones, by the way. I don't know. Should I? Well, I'm not gonna let them killed, but... I'll move some over, I guess, to the, to the main base, so we can hopefully get some additional mining there, but... I don't think it really makes a difference. We we overdrove. Simply put, that's okay. Um, so full zirkling mailing it is. Oh, my <laughs> really want to get to the terrazine. Oh, they're kind of impatient, so I'm letting them out now. Yeah, Zagara is gonna be helpful, but I wonder how good she's going to be. We'll just cast her whenever she's available, I suppose. We we'll use her cast as soon as she's up. Uh, but I really want to try and get these upgrades here. Scum. They're going to attack my bots, commanders. Okay. Like, making those moves is really pricey. Like, look at that. Even casting those abilities is really expensive. So now my units are all affected. And instead of, like, you know, letting them just die, I guess I'm better off sending them to their deaths, right? Zagara so not yet affected, though, so that's good. Uh, and we'll go ahead here and get the Adrenal Overload as well as the Shredding Claws. I'm pretty sure, though, that... Look at these guys. Like, they're all affected by the Black Death. And sure, they will take damage. But, I mean, they were gonna die anyway in the first place, right? Alright, so I got all of the upgrades uh, coming in right now. I'll try and get, uh, you know, the plus two, plus two here in just a bit. But, really, I want to try and defend for the objective for the most part. And save up some resources. Cool. I don't really want to take out... Oh, well... I guess I'm gonna have to. Everything's gonna die. Maybe I should move my units away instead, though. Okay. So luckily those units do come here. Oh, that's of course where all of my... Uh, all of my gas is going. The moves that I made with Zagara. I was wondering why I'm getting so little gas. Alright. Alright, alright, we got this, we got this. Uh, I got all of those upgrades done. I'll try and get plus two, plus two here, ASAP. Uh, looks like we're making progress. It's gonna Kay. take more terrazine than that to finish my... Uh, research. Research. <laughs> That's right. Very good. Now, he does have anti-air, quite a lot of it as well, so that's good for me. Um... Well, 
If I were a betting man, I'd I think I'm going to go this direction. More guys are showing up soon. Here we go. We'll make a big round of links. I am going to need a lot of larva, though, so we can't really miss any of the injects anymore. Yeah, so all these units are eventually going to die. I don't really care too much about the bonus objective. So look at this. All of these units are going to die here. <laughs> I'm a little worried for that. Oh, no. Well, I mean, moving these is more expensive than remaking them. So I'll just stand right here for a little while. And let my ally clean up the other shenanigans. Um, Alright, so that's all of the upgrades I can really go for, right? Should I focus on any other units? I mean, I can get a Scourge Nest just in case. Which may be helpful, because I'm going to be floating gas here anyway. These bots, myself, in a cave with a box of scraps. So I'd appreciate it if they came back intact. Okay. So this guy right here has to play. I didn't move over my units, by the way. I'll make another set. And with set, I mean like another thousand. Okay, very good. Once again, don't want to look at it too much because I'll have a tendency to micro. Very good. The death from above. And we'll go ahead here and get all of these upgrades. I'll just queue them up. Why not? Zagara, don't die. <laughs> She's gonna die no matter what. So all of these units are actually cleaning up a lot of the next objective already. And everything considered though. Considering you've got some of the worst setups I think we can go for. This is still looking insanely good. Because of course, I mean Stukov is doing so much work here. Stukov is doing a ton. Uh, we'll go ahead and get plus three plus three. And I could get some additional life on Zagara. But I wonder if that's even worth it. I mean, I'm starting to think here that it's really not. Okay, moving over a ton of my Zerklings. Just made a lot of new ones as well. But we'll make it back to me first. Okay, there's gonna be a lot of. There's gonna be a lot of spawns right over here. But I think we got this second one cleared out as well. So far, so good. We don't care about the bonus objectives. We don't have any anti air. It's gonna be a pain to get over there. And like moving units over is, is really expensive. I think I'm better off just letting these dudes die. It sounds so bad. But like making new ones is a, like. I can't. I can't move them. They die. It's cheaper to remake them, right? Am I missing something really obvious here? I mean, I can move them. That's a good <laughs> I can move them, but... <laughs> I missed you so oh, okay. Much. Fair enough. So I can make some Scourge. They're really cheap now. I'll make, a, I'll make a handful of them. Oh, there's actually a bit of uh, shenanigans going on over here. Of course, my Scourge will be over here in just a bit. And actually, Zagara's over here now too, so that's all good. Just like my career. Enemy forces have converged on my bots! Everybody get in there! Okay. I'm scared to move them around though. I'm really terrified of moving my units around. I don't want to micro you, I'm sorry Zagara! Just spawn your last Hydras, we'll be okay. I need more resources than this if you want to achieve anything. Okay, it's okay. My Scourge is still hanging out over here as well. Some of these are sadly gonna end up falling. But that's alright. Good news, commanders. My bots have brought me terrazine. Well, Very nice. good news for me. Man, collecting terrazine is hard work. <laughs> He's just gonna let them send them to their deaths because there's nothing else to do anyway. I mean they are bound to die. So are the majority right here of these dudes. I guess I can send some of them to their deaths as well. I'm sorry, little buddies. You guys go kill the Colossi. The Get him, boys. Get him. Poof. Good job, boys. They actually kill quite a lot. I wish Scourge were in a multiplayer. It'd be amazing. Alright, time to make some new units. And I'll try and send a bunch over here as well. Now, we do still have enough larva, so it's nice. Plus three, plus three is just finishing up. I'll go ahead and get the Medusa's Blades, as well as Zagara's upgrades. But I'm a little worried that it's not going to make too much of a difference. You guys hang out over here because there's going to be a big spawn over there in just a little bit. And I'll set another rally point right over there so units, once they spawn, can immediately move over. Okay, so Gaira is once again back in action as well. I set my rally point to go over towards this direction so she will automatically waddle over there. 
if I'm not mistaken. She should at least. You can be greeted with a bunch of banes as well. And actually, like, no, we didn't get the bonus objective. I was gonna say, like, he may be able to just use it at this point with so many units, but... I'll just try and stand still for now and not really, you know, micro anything. Because I will be able to replace everything after this all dies, but... Getting it is, uh, you know, much easier, of course, and, you know, saving up resources. Probably cheaper than replacing everything. Okay. Okay, so Gara attack. You can attack yourself. I still got a lot of resources, though. I think we actually... I mean, I wanted to restart once I realized that Sagara would die, because normally she does so much damage, but everything considered, we're doing quite well. We are doing quite well. Now, my ally is going to go ahead and clean this part up, which is fine. All of these units are just about to die anyway, which is fair enough. A couple of my banes apparently have slipped through, sort of like Archons can be moved as well. Um, But I mean, look how many resources I got. I got 36 larvae. You know what? I'll get another hatchery just in case. We got two other hatcheries just in case. Because larva is like my weakest resource here. Okay. Trying to send a lot of my units over. I don't have any the air. Okay, good. I'm sending over more uh, skirts now as well. Because I feel like larva is sort of my main, like my main limiting resource here, right? You can easily forget about everything else. But eventually, I mean, my units here are definitely sort of like a mute shield. Eventually, once these skirts get over there, they will be killed as well. I'm desperately trying not to micro, which is good. But all of these units are just about to die as well, so you know what? I'll just send them to whatever is coming in that direction. Moving over to Psy Admitter, by the way, is a really cheap little way of cleaning things up. And I think, I mean, considering usually this is the most difficult wave, like this one right here, where you have to defend the three way out on the map. Considering we're doing that one quite well. The enemy has taken an interest in our base. Looks like we got it. Well, for now. Don't don't cheer just yet, Loco. You know how that goes. Okay, I'm sending some units to their deaths because we can. We're wasting some storm energy and all that. And um, with these three returning, and this one already on the path to getting home as well. We're okay. We're okay. I think we should consider going in that direction oh, next. Bots. Ooh, those are mine. <laughs> and I got Terrazine. Okay. Energy. I'll try and send some over here too. And of course, I'll try and send some way off in the distance. And some Scourge as well. Alright, I've set my ready point instead, so this way they're all gonna go into different directions. They're all gonna go to different areas. Which should be good for us. And you can really see, like, those Zerkling upgrades, though. Like, right now, they do so much damage. They're fully upgraded. They got the Shredding Claws. They reduce armor and everything else. I mean, apparently even that Ward Prism could get killed. Everything considered, this final wave, I think we can do it. I mean, I do this. Uh, I do these mutation missions every week, Statman. You should subscribe. Wait, was that Salah? <laughs> That's such a YouTuber thing, right? Alright, I could set up some static defense. I mean, I got so many resources here now. Insufficient energy. I don't really care too much about the bonus objective, to be honest with you. But... He should be the last of the geysers. <laughs> Things are just getting interesting. Okay, okay, okay. So the last of the geysers. I got units at each of them. I got tons of resources to really start remaking something else if we absolutely need to. So Gara's actually hanging out over here. You know what? I'll go try and over. I'll, I'll try and head over. Oh, we're gonna need detection. I think Zagara's gonna die. That's what I think we don't need, but... Or we can just go ahead and kill their mothership. Of course, I don't want to spend too many of my resources. And I don't really want to send all of my units over. I think we got it. I think we got that one. I thought it was funny. Um, alright. Belshir laughs every time I tell it. So, 
Other than, uh, other than us having some very minor issues at the beginning today, as long as we manage to complete this one, I mean, we're even trying to do the bonus objectives now. And once again, right, in case you aren't sure why we aren't doing the bonus objective, we're here for the bonus experience for the mutation mission on Brutal, which is uh, pretty tricky normally. But the thing is, you get 185,000 bonus experience for completing the bonus objective. Uh, or, sorry, for completing the mutation on Brutal. But then you gain only uh, about... 2,000 experience for completing the mutation mission um, bonus objective. If that would increase the amount of XP we get for the bonus objectives, I would definitely go get them. But as it is right now, I really have no desire to do so. A lot of these uh, flying things, which is a little painful, but huh, not that big of a deal. There we go. <laughs> All these suicidal units going straight in there. And I mean, all we really need to do now is just defend this area. And it looks like... I mean, I got a gazillion larva left over. I got nearly... No, I got more than 10,000 resources here to spend on anything. I'll send out some more of these anti-air dudes as well. I'll just rally them right on top of those if it needs to. Oh, well, there's going to be more Void Race. Of course, the Alexander will take control of some of these units as well. And while it will take it out here eventually... Actually, it just got rid of a lot of things. Wow. <laughs> I always undervalue the Alexander. Look at that. It killed that entire force. I'm trying not to make units here so I can continue making Bane links. But I mean, I wouldn't be surprised if we're just going to be able to clean this one up here with relative ease. Look at the amount of units that are taking out this area as well. The infestation is absolutely ludicrous. And the nice thing about this is that oftentimes... I mean, I'm just going to send my Scourge up there. Oh, here we go. <laughs> Oftentimes, um, like, you know, these missions can be an absolute pain, but killing their bases actually reduces the amount of units that they are building. At the very least, that's what I believe. Uh, wow. The waves always seem to become really a little bit less powerful. Oh man, this is not good for my frame rate, I can tell you that much. Now, for those of you wondering, that is not something I can really do anything about. If I could buy hardware to get smoother frame rates, I would have done so a long time ago, but sadly... To my understanding, not a whole lot I can do about it. Yeah, we got this one easily. Okay, I'm starting to make a lot more units now. My bots are under attack! Yep. I got 10k plus resources, my man. I think we're okay. <laughs> I think we are okay. I've been microing extremely carefully, but with these returning right here, we should have this one relatively evenly taken care of. And uh, I mean, this should be the very little final one. So you know what? Can we dance? Can we dance, my man? Ugh, here we go. Wow, it actually costs resources to dance? That's offensive. I take offense to that. Yes! I can finally finish this research and get off this godforsaken rock. I'm sorry, Belshir. I didn't mean it like that. Alrighty, so here we go. We managed to complete it on the brutal difficulty. I'm not gonna lie. I expected it to be far more difficult than this, but even though all of the units die and like microing costs money, as long as you focus on an army that's like very easy to dispose of and you can easily rebuild, like for example with Stukov and like for example um, with um, what's her name? Zagara. You can quite easily complete this one. I mean, instead of like microing, we just simply replace the units that we lost and. That seemed to work out brilliantly. So here we go. The victory of Sick Micro. The weak limitation bounty. There we have it. 185,000 experience. And we did indeed uh, manage to reach level 65 mastery there. So slowly but surely, reaching in on that maximum level of 90. As far as the statistics go, uh, I mean, I gathered a lot of resources. Yeah, I gathered more resources than Stukov did. But I had more than a quarter of that sitting in the bank by the end of the game, just simply not really doing a whole lot about it. But everything considered, this turned out to be reasonably straightforward. I hope you enjoyed watching this video, and I hope it gave you a strategy to go ahead and give this mutation mission a try on Brutal as well, because I'm pretty sure most of you should be able to complete this one if you've got similar setup as we do right now. Uh, as long as you like have a reasonable setup, generally speaking, you can complete them on Brutal no matter what, even if you aren't particularly amazing at the game and you're not as confident, but... 
I mean, this worked out like an absolute charm, and I'm pretty sure that everyone can go ahead and complete this one on Brutal just fine. So let me know down below in the comment section if you managed to complete it on Brutal yourself. If you did and you used any other commanders, let me know as well. I wouldn't be surprised if, for example, uh, someone like Alarak could be really good, or Artanis, for example, with like his level 2 shield that really makes his units like, you know, never die. But other than that, if you enjoyed watching this video, make sure you hit that like button down below. And if you want to see more, Make sure you subscribe so you get a notification as soon as I upload more. And while you're at it, you can follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Links are in the description. I want to thank you for watching. Have an amazing day. Do not forget to smile, alright? And I will see you in the next one.